Um, you know what? Go to go to add a hair file, a new item. We make sure you actually create a hair file for it. And we're gonna call it global variables. Some globals that we can create for our stuff. Some stuff that we can need. So if and def. Gonna do our our stuff for our header files. It's not really a class, but it just defines the way you can need. So screen width. You could probably like 1024. It's up to you guys. I don't know what you guys your screen you guys want it as. And screen height to equal seven twenty. Another define, which will be the window pause X. I'm gonna set it to zero for now. This is the, the position of our window. So when pause Y, which is zero. And which I I'm trying to figure out if I should put the B sync in here or not. Well, is it necessary to put a B sync in here? Trying to figure out if I want B sync in here or not. You know what? Go just just put it back where your full screen was at. It makes sense to be in here. Define B sync. Make sure you spell it correctly. Your B sync enabled, and you can set it to true. Oh wait, I, they're actually not really defined because I can you actually do that? I don't think you can. Said define to equal true or false. I've been I actually been thinking about that while I'm um, was doing the other stuff with you guys. My mind was on that. But you know what? You just call it static bool. And let's make sure it equals true. I wanna sneeze, I wanna sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me guys. Woo! Make sure it equals true. Make sure you have the somebody calling on the other one. So the full screen, then the other one is B sync enabled. You go back to framework, and then we can. Uh, where is this thing here? You want to make sure it's a B sync enabled there. Uh. What well, does it really matter? Cause it's a temporary window, you know. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't want to risk it. You guys can put it in there if you want, if you guys want. Anyways, I guess that's it for this. I feel weird. I know it's just our initialized stuff, but. If it was like up updating that probably this would be a good idea, but it's up to you guys you want to do it that way or not. But anyways, there's one last thing that I gotta do with you guys for our framework, which I haven't initialized yet for you guys. And that's the win proc, which is the only thing that's red on our thing. It's a function which you can't really put it inside a class. So that's a little bit weird. So it's gonna be an L result callback. Call me back, baby. WN proc, which will pass in as a parameter of H W N D a U int P message uh, W param, which this is what. It, uh, let me just write this first. Like I mentioned in the other one, it's a it's a class that gets created when you actually don't have it as an empty project. If you don't check the em empty box, this class will be created for you guys. But since I did not do that for you guys, well, let's you know what? Let's copy this real quick. So we have we can create a prototype on top. 
Are we gonna call it at the bottom? We gonna call it at the bottom. So I'ma speed up this music. I mean this music, this class. I mean this thing, and I yeah, put some music in the background. Right. Well, probably there's already music playing already. So, so paint struck. P.S. HDC. HDC. And I have a switch for message. P message. We have a case a WM key down. And we can have if W param equals so you dip you guys if any of you guys press the escape button, or if anyone presses the escape button, then you're just gonna close the window, you know. So post quit message to zero and destroy window. HWND. I mean PHWND. There's other like key up and key down. We might as well just define it for now. WM key up, which you're not going to use it yet. The next important thing that we can need in here is the case WM paint. You call it HDC equals begin paint. Uh, P H W N D and H P S and then end the paint. Which P H W N D and H P S. You call it break. Otherwise, call in the default. And you just want to return def window proc of phwnd p message w param and l param and then at the end you want to return zero and there you go for this class guys finally the framework is done let me double check real quick let me double check and if I I know there's some errors. Where's the errors? Where's the errors? Where's the errors? Where's the errors? Yeah, there we go. That's what I was talking about. Yes, there we go. I forgot to call. Where's where's engine? I didn't call gra graphics for some reason. Like of course I always forget. So make sure you call the graphics guys. Make sure you call graphics. And you want to return graphics. What else is in here? Get OpenGL, which is in graphics, which I did not call. Like I said earlier, I forgot to call it. And you're just going to return M. OGL and make sure you grab this. What else did I forget here? Get OpenGL, get engine. Wait, did I get engine? I didn't call it, did I? Ah, of course I did not call it. I called get graphics though. So, oh, what did I do? So make sure if you, you guys did not call this, make sure you call it, otherwise you're going to get errors. And what we're going to do in here, wait, we don't have to call static. Since this is our singleton class, if it's if the engine is not initialized yet, 
then we can set it to we can create a new we can call new to it and then return the engine at least there's one more class release graphics I did not call it wait what I did not call release for this graphics class. Oops. 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 See, guys, stuff you gotta do sometimes. Like, seriously. You gotta make sure you actually call this stuff because. Man. So, anyways, so if. MOGL. Does OpenGL has a release? Yes, it does. Make sure you actually grab this, otherwise you're gonna get an error. And make sure if it's, it is initialized, make sure you release the memory for it and delete MOGL and MOGL equals new. Well, anything else that I forgot in here? Woo! There we go, guys. Okay, did I forget anything here? Da, 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 da. Okay, so our last thing we're gonna create. Our last thing, guys. Well, I mean, you still have other functions that we have to create anyways. You gotta go back to your main function and all of this stuff that's in here. Make sure you delete it. Because we don't need it anymore. And what you can include here you can include the framework that H you can call it framework so basically what you can do over here initialize the framework so we can have framework pointer framework equals new framework framework initialize and then update our framework update our framework framework run and it will stay in here forever until the window closes so after if it goes over it goes to the next line that means the our stuff was already ended and everything is closed. So what you gotta do is delete framework. Then we probably don't even have to do this at all, but just because I can, I'll do it. <laughs> oh my god, I don't know. Wait, hold on. I feel like this is not gonna work anymore. Oh yeah, I forgot to do something. That reminds me of this full screen thing here. Hold on, we haven't finished yet. We have not finished yet. We have not finished yet. There's a couple things I got to do before. So a full screen, you got to make sure to change our display back to not being full screen anymore. Otherwise, I guess that would be bad. I don't know. I don't want to risk it. If you guys want to risk it, go for it. But if you guys do it, don't blame me. That your computer can be a full screen the entire time or may stay black the entire time. I don't know. But anyways, after you do that, you release the engine, all the stuff. You're going to unregister the class. This is the reason why I wanted to have the window title saved because you're going to need it anyways. Uh, HMH instance. And then M H instance equals no. See, I'm uh, almost forgetting something huge in there, guys. So it's the window title. Make sure everything's initialized correctly. It will probably still be black. Let you guys know. Anyways, cross our fingers and make things. Make sure this actually works. Oh, 
What does it say? Stacked and bearable jail version was corrupted. Why was it corrupted? Let me try. I want to go back in there. Can I go back in there? No, I can't. Oh. The last one was corrupted. Why would it be corrupted? Okay, let's check that real quick. Why would it be corrupted? Where is initialized OGL? Did I mess up somewhere? Geo minor version. Okay, I gotta make sure exactly it's breaking. So I'll see you guys. I'll speed up this thing and figure out why it's breaking.